suppose. Um, it's silly o'clock here. I got up at half past five for no apparent reason. Um, bit of an update for this week. I'm just going to throw this up on the internet. Uh, try and do it quite quickly or talk quickly and cover more topics. Van's going to go very soon. Uh, deciding to go and look for a car today. Going to take something off a forecourt, um, off a main dealer. Um, was going to get brand spanking new, but there's a four month wait, and quite simply, weather's changing. I want a new car. I want something to drive. So we're going to go out today. Got the money ready. Just take it. There you go. Give me the car. Um, so hopefully that'll be sorted this week. Guaranteed I'll turn up the forecourt and say, yep, you can have the car. All right, okay, where's the keys? Come back next week because it takes a week to do the paperwork. Something like that will happen, I guarantee it. <coughs> I had the same in the UK. I'll say, I'll take that one. I'll, you can have this one. I'll tell no, 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 that's not how it works. You could come back in four days. Um, anyway, so the car, dealing with. Next thing, April's going to be learning to drive it. Um, yeah, she's going to get April driving soon. She she knows it's coming. <laughs> <coughs> Giving her a month, a few months' notice, so she's not going to be shocked into it. But we're going to get her, get her on the road. Um, yeah, because April's got a little job over in Lamata, which is on a Wednesday. Uh, some people are asking. She works in a restaurant there, just doing restauranty stuff, making coffees, that sort of thing. Um, but it's more to do with um, independence than anything else because financially we don't need April to be doing work whatsoever but it's her own thing because also socially she's out the house at least one day a week you know she's going there partnering around doing her job and meeting lots of new people and stuff so it's good um, I encourage people to do that especially if you've got I mean if your wife's overseas with you or whatever I encourage you to do something similar because it broadens the opportunities for you, for your partner. Um, cause it may also have, give them something else to focus on because if they're at home all week, sometimes it's just, um, boring. Uh, so it's nice to actually be able to give, you know, do something else. Plus a bit of independence, got her own money. Don't ask her what she does with her money. It's completely up to her. Um, but yeah, so driving's next. What else have we got going on? There's a few things going on at the minute. Philippines may be coming up very soon. There'll be an update on that. What month? Have we moved into February yet? What day is it? No. <coughs> There'll be an update on that on February. Um, my flu's working. It's going slowly. <coughs> now I mentioned it. I'll start coughing. This is quite good. Um... Basically, you just shove it up your nose and give it a squirt. So this actually decongests your nose. Um, I'm not going to do this on camera, but I'll just clean my nose so I can see. If I say see, I mean speak. Yeah, so as you can hear, my nose is just cleared instantly as soon as I did that. Although it's not the most beautiful thing to see on camera, which is why I'm slightly off camera. Um, so yeah, recommend this. Works well. Um, yeah, got three other medications as well, which is some from decongestion, some for the flu, blah, 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 but it's getting there. I mean, it's been long. I don't even know how many weeks it is now. It's probably about five weeks of the flu. Um, so that's, that's another thing that's nearly gone. Um, why is it, why do we need the car so soon? Weather's changing. It's improving. Um, in all honesty, the van can go to Lamata, Torrebecca, down to Pilar, but beyond that, I would not trust it. And quite simply, we need to go further. April wants to go to Minglanilia here as well, uh, which is two and a half dr hours drive. And I said, well, what are we going to go there for? Because it's like, I think it's just a small village or something. Yeah, it's just so we can say we've been to Minglanilia in Spain. I was like, okay. I'm not sure if there's anything there, but we'll have a look what's on the way. So we, at least we find a castle or something en route. Or some old tombstones. That's something they did here in Spain. They used the tombstones as tables um, in some sort of renovations. You know, they were like renovating and they, these 2,000-year-old tombstones, they turned into camping tables for some unknown reason. <laughs> <coughs> 
<coughs> some of the stuff they do here with historical stuff is bizarre, but hey ho. Um, maybe going over to the Philippines during February at some point. Uh, we'll wait and see on that. There might be an update coming. Because uh, April's mother's paperwork's nearly sorted. Got to go up to Manila, file the paperwork for her visa, and once that's sorted, somebody will be going to the Philippines to bring April's mother to Spain. Uh, another reason the car's becoming a priority, because if she comes over to Spain, I'm seriously thinking of driving her over to the Vatican. Um, not to leave her there, but <laughs> no, to uh, see the Vatican, because uh, obviously April's mother out of the Philippines, Catholic, place to go Vatican for me architecture uh, for them and it, April it's religion <clears throat> religion's a funny thing for me I do and I've already covered this before so I'll just quite simply say if you if you're religious that's fine completely up to you I respect your choice um, but for me it's I just don't I just don't get it um, just because there's no facts. This is as simple as that. Um, but it's not a case of I don't believe or do believe or whatever. It's just there's no facts. And this is quite an interesting conversation that was going on in the room next door at New Year um, when we had Peter and Andreas over because Peter is not religious. Andreas is. But Peter's read about five Bibles plus Buddhism and everything else. And they were having these conversations around the different connections within religion. Um, why somebody believes and why somebody's not. I mean, I understand why some people believe. It's just that I couldn't believe. That, that's it, you know. There's different reasons people believe in it. They choose to or whatever, but that's fine. I have no problem with that. What I have problems with is manipulation by others to hide things that they shouldn't be doing, but that's not to do with the religion. It's just manipulation, um, which, if it wasn't religion, they do it in the corporate world. They do it in MPs' expenses. So there's a, it's manipulation. It's not just inside one entity. Okay, moving on for that. Next, uh, probably going to go horse riding today as well. See where the car goes. We can sort that out. Go sort horse riding out. I'm going to get April on that this morning, um, because if we can find someone to let the kids go in horse ride today. That'll be a video for tomorrow. Uh, me falling off a horse would be good entertainment, I'm sure. Um, so, yeah, <laughs> that's today's entertainment. Uh, what else have we got going on? Now the weather's changing, well, there'll be a bit more stuff going on. Uh, because with the weather, quite simply, we haven't been anywhere. It's been too cold. How many been in the swimming pool over here? How many been on the tennis court? It's been too cold. Um... Job interview, did it go well? It went well for the wrong and the right reasons. Um, I was approached by Amazon on LinkedIn. They asked me if I wanted to apply for a job in Sweden. So I applied for it. I had no idea what I was applying for. Um, it was to manage the data centers, but there was no sort of specification exactly what they wanted because they wanted sort of to manage people. And I can manage people, but... I needed to understand exactly what was being managed. Um, but I got all the way through to the interview, and I had the interview on Friday. And during that interview, uh, we sort of went into it about 10 minutes. Then the, the guys in charge of these data centers in Europe turned around and said, I'll stop you there, because this is uh, to do with more hands-on with power lines and stuff like that. And I says, yeah, I don't do that. That's like, I don't do high voltage or that. I don't touch that stuff. I'm not trained in it. I said, yeah, I know. And your stuff is related to assets and the, you know, more of the programming side of the uh, maintenance programs and all that sort of stuff. So, so we're, say, say wasting each other's time. <laughs> um, I'll just stop you there, but... There's another role you're ideal for, so I'll put you forward for that instead. So I may still be going to Sweden. We'll wait and see. It depends what the money is. But I mean, the funny thing, I was talking to April about it because she's like, ah, oh, a bit deflated on it. So, well, I wasn't even looking for a job. That was the funny thing. It was just they said, did you want to apply for it? And I'm like, okay. And they said, oh, it's Amazon. It's like, oh, yeah, I'll apply then because 
be a nice company to work for, something I haven't done. Um, so yeah, so it was like, ah, oh, didn't get it, but at the same time, hey-ho, they were offering me another job instead, so no complaints. Yeah, so that's that's Sweden off the list for now, or a big big question mark. Well, like I said, I'm not too fast. I mean, you know, at the end of the day, I'm not too fast. It'd have to be a pretty good package for me to move up to Sweden anyway. Um, but I do know for an AWS manager, you're talking about $150,000 a year, which is just under £130,000 a year. Um, but hey-ho, we'll wait and see. We'll wait and see. Um, what else has been going on? I think that's about it. Can't think of anything else we're doing right now. The crypto stuff's doing really well. Um, right now the markets are down, but at the same time, my portfolio is doing okay. Um, that's why I'm going out to buy a car, because I made enough profit to go and buy a car brand new, completely free, just from profit. Um, but yeah, everything's on the up. And I think that's good, considering last year, you know, last year, we had some pretty bad times. You know, we lost two people last year. Um, I mean, even though financially we were in a, a good way, um, having a lot of expenses relating to funerals and things suddenly hitting the bank um, was quite hard at the time. But we still managed to get through last year. And now this year we're in a better position. Um, I'm looking forward to April's mother coming over. Um so I'll wait and see, because I might be, like I said, in the Philippines with that as well in the near future. Also, I was talking to Ubi about going to London. Uh, we priced a flight and everything for London for the four of us. It's just over a grand, um, over a thousand pounds um, for the four of us. Plus, the train fare is 150 from the airport to the hotel. And then there's obviously the expenses over the weekend. So I'm thinking... Hmm, new car, drive through France, might cost the same, but the kids did get to go on the big ferry as well, and they could go at Portsmouth, around Portsmouth, up into London, we go on the weekends, I'll see when the museums are open, because mainly for the museums, you know, honestly for the kids, um, is to go into, you know, like uh, the Natural History Museum with the big dinosaurs and all that sort of stuff, that, that's what I want to take the kids to see. Because those are the things the kids remember. You know, when they're older, they remember being there, you know, and I'll take a picture on the stairs and do all that stuff. That's that's what, for, for me, um, not for the kids, it's just for my entertainment. <laughs> um, no, because I also, Obi was on about going to Warwick Castle. He's like, oh, I've got a video of me chatting to him about it, Cadbury's World, so I may end up around Birmingham. Because <coughs> obviously Warwick and... Birmingham, I'm, I'm miles away from uh, miles away from London, but at the same time, um, my father's in Worcester anyway, so it's it's that neck of the woods, so we could actually cross over. But we'll wait and see because it's got to be done on the weekend, so it should be interesting. Um, what else have we got going on? Mm, I think that's about it right now. I think we covered quite a lot of topics in quite a short time. But things are on the up. Weather's changing. Actually had a couple of days where I didn't need a jacket here to, in Spain. And then we had two days where it's quite windy. But it's looking a lot better. Temperature's coming up now. And things are heading in the right direction. So I'll leave it there. Thanks for watching. And there'll be more stuff coming up on the channel very soon. Like I said, we've got the, maybe going to the Philippines, car, new car, driving around Spain a bit more, and maybe even driving over the UK or flying over the UK just for a weekend for the kids to experience London, going to the London Underground just to say we've been on it, that sort of stuff. All right, guys, take it easy.